Hey Supreme, what's going on? How are you? How is everybody today? I hope everybody had a good Halloween. Um, Samu! You're welcome. I couldn't, I, I, I came in on your stream and I was like, what is, what is this? Like, I wasn't exactly sure what I was watching. Like, it's called mud, mud, what is it? Mud running or something like that? It was just like you with a bunch of logs, like moving logs around. I wasn't totally sure what was happening. Um, and I couldn't really hear you. So I don't know. I wasn't sure if you knew if I was in there watching your stream or not. So. But it looked interesting. It looked interesting as someone who's from uh, Virginia and like from, I'm not from the country, but um, I know some people from the country. So it was, it was kind of cool seeing a video game like that. Mud Runner. Okay. Games of trucks and forest. Yeah, it was, it was, in, it was interesting watching, but I wasn't sure totally what the objective was, I guess. So I'll have to read up on it and, and see what that game is. I've never seen anybody playing it before. You're the only person I've seen playing it. Trill Star Dog! What's up? What's up? I got my space buns. My Lola buns. Got my Lola buns in effect today. Mr. B! Alright, y'all. So we have to we have to thank Mr. B for this shirt. I love my shirt, Mr. B. Hold on, let me uh, let me let me uh let me let me show you my shirt. Wait, I'm not allowed to stream today. Wait, why am I not allowed to stream today? What did I do, SBO? What happened? This shirt is badass, and it's like perfect. So thank you, Mr. B. Thank you for my shirt. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I know people from the country, yeah. <laughs> yep, you're a hillbilly. <laughs> I might know some people from the country, yeah. My I, my light, I, I think I'm like sitting farther back or something than I normally am. I'm not really happy with what's going on with my light here, but I moved some things around and now there's some shadows, but whatever, whatever. I'm just going to, I'm going to work with it. I'm going to work with it. What's up, SBO? What happened? Yes, it's perfect. Perfect, Mr. B. It is perfect. Perfect. And this shirt is badass. Badass. What's up, Ninja Drew? What's going on? Did you have fun with the kitties for Halloween, Ninja Drew? I went out. Okay, so I saw you guys on Halloween. Saw you on Halloween. I was uh, Wonder Woman because I said so. That didn't work on me when I was a kid, uh, SBO. Doesn't work on me now. Um, <laughs> um so I saw you guys on Halloween, right? And I was dressed up as Wonder Woman, and I had a lot of fun. And uh, um, and so so I went out. I went out um, on Halloween. It was a little. It was a little weird. I will. I will admit it was a little weird. Um, most of you know that there was the whole uh, terror attack in New York on Halloween, the morning of Halloween, and some guy like ran his this Home Depot truck and killed people and injured lots of people. It was really, um, really crazy. Um, so, hey, Billy, uh, things are things are well. Thank you. How are, how are things with you? Raider Nation Sam, what's up? What's up? It's good to see you. Mwah. Um, hey, another bad creation. How are you? Um, so yeah, so I ended up, you know, I went out on Halloween. It took me forever, like, to meet up with my friends. Like, there were a bunch of us that were trying to link up, and it ended up being, like, really crazy, and trying to walk in the city was crazy, because, um, the part of town we were in, we were down by where the parade, they have this big Halloween parade every year, and, um, we were late leaving just to even see the parade. We saw, like, the aftermath of the parade. But the barricades that they had up were unlike I've ever seen them before. And I think it was because of the earlier incident. They weren't letting any cars, like, across town. Like, so you had to walk. You had to walk um, far. And they had, like, these barricades that just to go up, you had to go to the right and then around and then back and then up. It was, it, it just took us a long time to, to get together, like, with my friends. So 
basically I stayed up and stayed out I got home at like like four or some like four something in the morning <laughs> the next morning so yesterday was really a day of recovery for me from Halloween because I did I did too much I really did too much I'm not as young as I used to be and um, so yesterday was a day of recovery <laughs> for me from my Halloween shenanigans but it was a fun night it was a fun night so I hope I hope all of you had a good time on Halloween or that you did something yeah and I don't you know I don't really stay out like that um, much anymore every once in a while every once in a while that'll happen but I wasn't expecting it to happen that night but it did hey Abraham what's going on Halloween crazy another night you only had four kids show up damn yeah I think you know I don't think the kids really go door to door anymore I heard a couple people saying that um, I don't think they really go door to door like that anymore. I think that um, a lot of kids will go to businesses, at least around here. They go to businesses. There's like a main uh, main street, like right, like one block over from where I live. And um, there are a lot of businesses. Like it's just, you know, stores. It's a main commercial uh, thoroughfare. And so there are a lot of stores. So I did see like a bunch of kids like walking up and down that, getting candy from stores but people don't really go to houses here at least not not in my neighborhood anyway um i was turned up i was spl i was i went in hard on halloween <clears throat> you found me a storm costume what like i was gonna make my storm costume i was gonna make my storm costume but you can send me the link mr b can you send me the link and i'll check it out I've looked at storm costumes online and I wasn't happy with any of them, which is why I'm like I have to make my own storm costume. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely open to looking at it. So so send it to me. If it's a gazillion dollars, I'm not buying it either. So I will have to <laughs> I'll have to see about making one. But I would like to look at it. I'm I'm very curious. Oh, it's on Amazon. Oh, then I've probably seen it then. If it's on Amazon, then I've probably seen it. And I've probably rejected it. You dressed up as a Raiders fan, but didn't take pictures. That's cool. Did you, like, paint your, paint your face or something? Hey, Eric. What's up? You didn't have any kids last year. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that it's really that safe like my cousin sent me some pictures of her kids and they went trick-or-treating like in their neighborhood but they don't live in New York they live in Virginia so it's a different it's a different vibe you know down there and going house to house I guess is more acceptable than it is here like you're not gonna go up to someone's apartment building here I don't think anyway um, so yeah um, but yeah, but I saw like some great costumes. I saw some great costumes out there. I saw a fantastic storm, a great storm. Um, she did like the whole mohawk storm vibe, which was really, really cool. Um, you painted your face silver and black. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hey, movie accurate. What's up? What's going on? It's been a minute. Good to see you. Welcome back. Yeah, I mean, it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, saw some cool costumes, saw some that, you know, some people obviously didn't put much thought into it at all. <laughs> didn't have any kids knock on doors. They had block party. Oh, block party. That's a good way to do it. That's a good way to do it. That's more of a controlled environment, like a block party where you can take your kids, and that's cool. Risk child abduction for candy, not a good bet. Well, you don't send your kids out themselves, right? You have, an adult has to, um, an adult has to, you have to take your, you have to take your own children, right? Stand up so you can see my outfit. Hey, yep, it's me. Um, I mean, there's not much to my outfit today, but sure. I'm no, there are no more there are no more costumes for me for the moment, but this is my badass storm shirt that I got um, thanks to Mr. Baltimore. 
So thank you for that, Mr. B. And then these are my galaxy leggings that you guys have all seen before. So, um, so yeah. You were manstorm for Halloween. Just kidding. I think a manstorm would be cool. Like, like I, I, I personally like like the gender bend costumes. Like when I see people doing like, you know, like seeing a woman do some do a character that's normally a man and vice versa. I think those those costumes are interesting, especially if you do them well. If you do them well, like when I went to Comic Con, I saw a lot of. Um, I saw a couple um, like gender bend Wonder Woman ones that were that were well done. Ooh, I saw a predator. I saw a good. I didn't. I didn't really take any pictures really when I was out. Um, I I saw a good predator when I was out. I did. I saw a really good predator. I don't think I got a picture of that person, but it, it was a female predator. She was a female predator. It was really really cool. Really cool. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. B. Mr. B and I kind of did like a shirt, a shirt exchange. I got him a Comic Con uh, shirt. Um, I got him a Comic Con shirt when I went to New York Comic Con, and uh, yeah, Manstorm is Thor. Well, actually, Thor is now a lady, so Thor is a female right now. So. <clears throat> oh, okay, Alex. Yeah, I saw where my Call of Duty World War II is uh, preloaded on my machine. I don't know if I'm going to have time to play it today. After after my stream today, I'm going to go see Thor. Actually, I'm going to go see Thor. A friend of mine got me tickets. It's taking me to see Thor for my birthday. My birthday is Sunday. So, um, so we're going to go see Thor today. And... Uh, then I'm going to have a party tomorrow. I work on Saturday. And then my birthday is Sunday. I'm not sure what I'm doing on my actual birthday. I might do a stream. Since I'm like partying like prior to my birthday, maybe I'll do like an on-stream party or something. I don't know. I haven't streamed on Sunday, Sunday in a really long time, so I don't know if I will or not. Just be on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe with your notifications on. <clears throat> Then I do a gender bend next year. I might. I might do a gender bend next year. I might. Your voice is pretty even hungover. <laughs> Thanks, Samu. Thank you. Yeah, my, my voice is a little, like, it, it still is a little, um, like, I was doing a lot of yelling. And I don't, I don't yell and stuff like that. Like, I'm a singer. You know, like, I know I'm not supposed to yell. I'm not supposed to do all that. Um, but, yeah. Regular Thor is coming back. Oh, okay. Regular Thor is coming back. Got it. Thank you. Happy birthday early, and you're not singing a birthday song. Aw, oh, Mr. V. <laughs> Could I please sing happy birthday to myself? I will. I, I will sing happy birthday. If I, if I stream on Sunday, which I might. I might. It depends on how I feel um, and what I get into on Sunday. But I might just st stay home and, and just chill and hang out and maybe stream. So, um. You're going to see Thor at 9 o'clock. I have tickets for 7. We're going to the 7 o'clock show. So I'm going to wrap this up and then head in to meet, meet my friend. And we're going to go see Thor. So, so I'm excited about that. I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I, I stopped watching all the trailers. You know me. Like I, like, I feel that the trailers show too much. So I haven't been watching any trailers at all. Once they get to a certain point, like especially if it's a movie, I know I'm going to go see. Um, I, I'm like, I'm not going to keep watching these trailers because they show, they show way too much. They show way too much on these trailers. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I don't have any good pictures on here. That's a maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, a friend of mine went to see Jigsaw. I, I never got into the Saw movies, honestly. Like, Saw movies to me are just, like, torturing people is not my thing. Like, I like scary movies, but torture movies to me aren't, um, aren't scary. Hey, Mick. <laughs> Mick from... <laughs> 
I just took my with a paper towel over the stove. Oh my god. Dracona! What's going on, Dracona? I, I'm I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you made it out of surgery. Alright. I have to apologize to you because the interview that we did at Comic Con did not film. I thought it did. It did not film. And I looked everywhere. I looked on on my people's phone. I looked on my phone. I looked on my camera and it was not there anywhere. So I'm really sorry about that. I do have some pictures though, I think. Um, oh, radiation therapy at 8 a.m. So you're starting that tomorrow. Wow. Well, good luck to you, Mr. B. You know, I always send positive vibes your way, so I'll be thinking about you in the morning when you're when you're dealing with all that. Um, Guardians 2 was good. Yeah, I liked I liked Guardians 2. I'm really looking forward to the Aquaman movie. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be good. Hey Finn, great to see you too. Thank you, Hemjet. You're still in recovery. How are you feeling, Dracona? I saw you posted the picture, Mr. B, of the machine. Um, I hope you're feeling all right. Like I hope it's, I hope it doesn't take too much out of you. Like I don't really know how that, how that works. Um, do you have to, and you have to go every day? Damn, I'm good, Ryan. Every day for how long, Mr. B? How long are you doing these, um, these treatments? Yes, absolutely. I love Jason Momoa. Hell yeah. Absolutely. You remember well, Ironhide. <laughs> You'll be in Anime NYC in November 17th through 19th. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. You did half the Destiny 2 raid. Oh, wow. Okay. Dracona, I think, fin Dracona finished the raid. I think he might be done with Destiny. Um, eight weeks every day for eight weeks. Wow, more, more, much, much love to you, Mr. B. That's a lot. That's a lot. Might be his tight aqua trunks. <laughs> it might be his tight everything, Ironhide. <laughs> Play with his trident. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Okay, you are done with Destiny for a while. Yeah. I missed some comments. I'm sorry. Let me um let me go check this out. Sorry guys. Yeah, Dracona got um Dracona had back surgery. He had some sort of back surgery um last week. Last week he had his back um worked on one of many surgeries he's had. Um, okay, here we go. And Mr. B, I'd like to send out some some extra love to Mr. B. He's going through um, some radiation treatments right now. He's going to be doing for eight weeks. So make sure to, to, to send some love Mr. B's way as well. It did its job. It put a smile on your face. It did. It did, Ironhide. I'm sorry. Let me see these uh, questions I missed. Hey, Ryan. Oh, man, my nose is running. Okay, I didn't. I think I got everything. I got all the. I got all the comments. So Dracona has, is having back surgery because of an accident he was in some time ago. Were you, who was, it was someone else's fault though, right? It wasn't your fault. Or were you on your cell phone while you were driving? I thought it was someone who hit you, if I'm remembering the story, the story uh, correctly. <clears throat> So you're doing Anime NYC. I think I'm off that weekend, actually. It's not bad. Lay in the machine for a half and you're done. So it's like a half an hour you have to be in the machine. Hey, Toxic Unboxers. 
Yeah, yeah, Thor is the Thor is the the movie, the movie, the current movie. So I'm, I'm really um really looking forward to that. Okay, guy ran a stop sign while on his cell phone. Yeah, it's it's dangerous. I mean, you know, and we all do it. We all do it. Like <clears throat> here, you know, people walk mostly, but it's dangerous even walking being on your cell phone. And I'm definitely um, guilty of that. A lot of times, I don't pay attention when I'm on my when, my, when I'm on my cell phone, like texting and walking and stuff. Hey, Janola, it's good. It's good. I was just I was telling everybody earlier that I'm in recovery from Halloween. Still, <laughs> like I I partied too hard, and I don't I don't really do that that much anymore. Um, so I've had a busy, a busy few weeks, busy couple weeks anyway, with Halloween and, and dressing up on stream and Halloween party and going out for Halloween and then work in between all of that. So, <clears throat> and now my birthday's coming up, so I'm still partying. No candy. I didn't, you know what? I didn't get any candy on Halloween. All I had was some nasty ass candy corn. That's all I had. I had like a few pieces of candy corn. I, I need like real Halloween candy. I didn't have any of that. Bad drivers piss me off. Well, then don't come to New York. Everybody's a bad driver here. <laughs> Everybody's a bad dri driver here. But yes, too much booze for sure. Too much booze. I know it's mixing and I never, I never mix my alcohol. Like I normally stick with, you know, with one alcohol, but it was, it was, Ill, it was, an, it was ill-advised. It was ill-advised. If you got hit in New York, you'd be six feet deep underground. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I'm not into candy corn either. It was just one of those things where the candy corn was there. It was on the table. Like, somebody brought a bag of candy corn. It was so random. Like, there was just, like, a bag of candy corn on the table. And I think one of us brought it. I don't know. We all ate it. So, I don't know. But it was just candy corn nasty candy corn. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> so, Dracona, are you going to be up and about? Like, you're going to be able to go to the New York Anime um, Con? What is it called? An anime, anime Con? I don't even know what it's called. You're going to be able to go... Um, go for that and you're gonna like cosplay and everything candy corn is nasty it is but you know it was like I had had like drinks and then I was like you know like a little snackish and then there was candy corn and I'm like oh candy corn and I ate candy corn and I think that made things worse for me New York drivers they don't stop for shit they do they will stop if they hit you they stop for the most part Oh, Anime NYC. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm off that weekend. But I don't know that much about anime to be going to um, going to that con. Hey, Yippie. What's up? Cheers. Cheers. I'm drinking water. This is water in my cup today. <laughs> this is water in my cup. Because I know I'm going to be partying tomorrow, so I'm like, I'm chilling today. I'm taking it easy. I'm being a responsible adult. Being a responsible adult. Um, so what? It's a fun experience. Maybe I will. If I'm if I'm around, maybe I will. Maybe I will go to that anime NYC. Just as Sailor Moon, you'll be okay. Right, but then that's another costume. Now I have to go and get another costume. So having to go and get another costume, like I'm really costumed out at this point. Like I wore like five costumes this season. Six costumes. Six costumes this Halloween. I did a lot of costumes. So I can't imagine, like I'm not even in the mood to put on a costume right now at all. Hey, Golden Nugget. What's up? Hello, Sweden. Swayze. Swayze from Sweden. 
The drugs they gave you in the hospital beat the hell out of aspirin. I would hope so. Cortez! I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. I had a good Halloween. I had a, a busy, fun Halloween. Yeah. My cousin went as, um, my cousin, so my cousin was not going to dress up, you know, like, he's staying in New York right now, and I'm like, you have to go out with us, you know, you have to go out with us, it's Halloween, you have to go out with us, and, you know, we're, we're all dressing up, so you have to dress up, he was like, no, I'm not going to dress up, I'll just be the guy in the background, and I'm like, you can't just be the guy in the background, so when I call them on Halloween, I'm like, okay, you know, we're going to be going out, whatever, and he's like, all right, let me go to the Halloween shop see what they have left. So he went to the Halloween shop um, on Halloween. Hey, Miss Busy Buddy. What's going on? Am I excited for Thanksgiving? And what's my favorite food to eat on Thanksgiving? Um, I, I am excited for Thanksgiving. Um, because, just because I like to see my family. Um, but I'm, a, I'm vegetarian. So like I like, like collard greens. <laughs> I like collard greens and yams. I love yams. Um, so anyway, so I, so I call my cousin and I'm like, hey, you know, like, where are we meeting up? And he tells me and um, he's like, you can't miss me. So he walks out of this bar and he's freaking Goku. <laughs> he's Goku. He has on like an orange thing. He didn't have the hair on. So he really should have had the hair on. He should have had the hair on, but he didn't have the hair on. But like, you know, I had spent all this, like everybody I was with had spent like all this time on their costumes. Vaughn, what's up? And, um, we had spent all this time on our costumes, and then, like, we can't even walk down the street because everybody's like, Goku, go Super Saiyan on, and all that. It was, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. So he was, like, taking pictures with a bunch of people, and I'm like, damn, like, you literally went and bought this costume off the rack today, threw it on, and, like, you're out here taking pictures with people. But it was, it was cute. It was funny. Um, Mr. Cab driving won't stop to pick dog up and Lisa ain't been herself <laughs> hey Charles Jackson what's going on I'm good I'm good I'm good hanging out I'm looking forward to Thor tonight looking forward to Thor hey synthetic playmate what's up what's going on what's going on so did, did anybody in stream, did any of you dress up on Halloween? Did any of you dress up on Halloween? I'm curious. Synthetic Playmate. That's that's an interesting, um, that's an interesting name. I like that. Let me check out, let me check you out. Ooh, that's a cool picture. You look like a... You look like a like a magician. You look like a magician or something. That's interesting. Synthetic playmate. There. Hey Nikki G. What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. You were a toaster. Hmm. A toaster. You put on a Guy Fox mask. Uh oh. I think this is my this is my job calling me. Um I'm not gonna answer this. I don't know what they're calling me. She can leave a message. <laughs> they can leave a message. You were scaring the hell out of kids. You were scaring the hell out of kids. What did you do? Like are you one of those people who like decorates outside and like sits outside? You were a handicapped person that can't leave his bed. That was, aww, I'm sorry. Aww. Oh, I think I did, I did see you in that Guy Fox mask, Mr. B. I did see that. You were 1,000 burnt brain cells. I had 1,001 ruined brain cells, I think. <laughs> Jay Fizzle. Raven, Raven. They want me to come in early. No, it's not that kind of thing. It's something, like, I work on the weekend, and I'm sure it's some sort of something. I don't know what it is, but. Man, 
I'm not going to quit. <laughs> I'm not going to quit, but let me see what they want. One moment, please. Ah. All right. It's my it's my boss and he wants me to call him back when I get a minute. And he sounds so serious. Hey Nick, what's up? Hello, Covum. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I feel like I need to call him back. You made a priest and eight nurses and the patients in the OR room laughing their ass off. First off, if anyone has looked at your Kona's page, like you should look at, um, you should look at them being, I'm being investigated. Hello from the other dimensions. I think they want me to do something I don't want to do. Thank you, Kovim. Um, so if you look at Dracona's Instagram, Dracona's the only person I know who is, um, I'm a singer, I'm a singer, so I work for, um, an entertainment company in New York. Um, hey, Apollo. Hey, you not ready? So I, so I, um, um, so, so if you look at Dracona's page, hey, Lazy Gamer, you look at Dracona's page, and he's the only person I know who is, like, in the hospital bed. He has on, like, the little, I'm getting ready to go into surgery cap and the gown and everything, and he's like, um, ah, okay, Trill Star, see you later. Um, and Dracona's like, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dracona. I'm about to go in here, get this surgery done. I want to send a shout out to this person. I want to send a shout out to that person. I just want to thank everybody for the well wishes. And I'm like, damn, that's like hardcore. <laughs> like, that's hardcore. <laughs> Dracona is like in the hospital bed. Like, what's up? It's your boy, Dracona. I got this IV in my arm right here. You know, they're about to give me some good drugs. Um, you know, and, and so, so I have to, I have to give you your props for that, Dracona. Like, that was, that was really cute. It was really cute. They you did that um i should call back no they don't they don't watch my stream they don't watch my stream but i am gonna step away for like five minutes hopefully i'm gonna have to tell them i can't talk long what i cat what's up what's up but yeah but i'm planning on streaming until like five so i have to call them back um it was the meds talking Right, right. But he was like literally in the hospital bed. Dracona was literally in the hospital bed. Like, well, they're coming to get me. They're coming to. <laughs> Wait, you were getting changed into your gown, and the priest walks up to your curtain and says, "Is anyone in here?" And I replied, "Don't come in. I'm making." <laughs> Wait, they send a priest in. Wait, they send they send a priest in? Like why did they send a priest in? Huh. It's on Dracona it's on Dracona's um on his Instagram. I don't I don't know I don't you didn't stream, I don't think. I think it was just on his Instagram. It's on his Instagram. So if you look at his his IG, you'll see his videos and stuff, him getting giving shout outs from the hot from the uh, hospital bed. <laughs> He is a beast. It's hardcore. It's hardcore. It's like anytime you can be like, yo, yo, it's your boy Dracona coming at you from whatever hospital this is. And <laughs> it was it was really funny. Really funny. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna make this call. I'm gonna put it put this on mute though, so y'all don't hear all my business. Um, but I will put I will put it on mute. But I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So Please let anybody, um, please let anybody, like, who comes in, if you hear me and you're like, oh, I can't hear you. Oh, they send a priest to bless everyone before surgery. Oh, damn. Dang. Priest came to talk to you and you said, no, meds now. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I didn't, I didn't realize that that happened. Um, so hold on one second, guys. I'm going to... Put this. I'm gonna mute my microphone really quickly. I'm gonna make this call, and then I'll be right back. Okay.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I had to put y'all on the um, on the silent treatment. That was business, and so business call I had to answer. So sorry about that. Hey, Satheus. Hey, Golden Threat. Hey, Awesome Sauce, Breezy, um, Von D. Von D said, did I already talk about how my night went? I did, but I can talk about how my night went again. Um, but yeah, I had to, you know, I just had to handle some, um, some business. So that was a call I had to take. It was fine. <laughs> it's just that he likes to talk. Like, my boss likes to talk. So, like, trying to get him off the phone, um, you know. Hey, Red Walrus! Did I read the other stuff? Let me, I know I missed some com comments. Um, let me, uh, let me go back <clears throat> and see what's going on, see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, I did talk about my night. My night, my Halloween was really good, actually. It was a lot of fun. Um... A nurse walked in and said, ready for your IV injection. I told the nurse, are they little pricks? Because I don't like big dicks. She was like, oh, you got a potty mouth on you. And my girl said, trust me, it gets worse. Oh, my God. Dracona, you are crazy. You are crazy. I just read them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's funny. But, yeah, no, I had a great, I had a great Halloween. Um... I went out, I met up with some friends. It just took us forever to link up. It was weird. I will say it was weird um, being in the city after the whole terrorist attack thing happened. But you know, like New Yorkers are resilient and we go, you know, go out and do what we have to do anyway. Oh, bye Nikki, thank you for coming in. Have a good night. I'm a dick, what can I say? <laughs> But, um, so it was a little weird. Security was extra tight. There were, um, more police around the parade area, like, than I've ever, ever seen. But they were leaving people alone, which was cool. Like, you know, they were letting people just have fun. They weren't, like, being, uh, assholes or anything. Um, Mr. B drove his nurses nuts. <laughs> hey, JJ. Love from Baltimore. Oh, okay, Dracona. All right. What's up, One Take Willie? What's up? What's up? Yes, these are Galaxy Pants. I've had, you've never seen these? I wear, these might be my favorite leggings. Like, I love all of my leggings. But for some reason, these pants, I just love these, these Galaxy leggings. But yeah, and they match my, they match my board. These uh, galaxy pants match my board. <laughs> and, oh, in fairness, they woke you up every time you went to sleep. Well, then you're 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 entitled then. And this badass shirt, let me get close so you guys can see it. This badass shirt, wait, is from Mr. B. From Mr. B. This storm shirt is from Mr. B. Thank you, JJ. Elope, what's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, these galaxy, these are my galaxy pants. My galaxy leggings. Um, but yeah, I had a great time. I had a great time on Halloween. Basically, like me and my friends, like we just bar hopped. We bar hopped and, um, you know, saw a lot of cool costumes. But I was out and drinking and doing shots. And I got home at like four or something in the morning. It was, it, it was ill-advised. It was an ill-advised evening, but I had a lot of fun. Um, but yesterday, I was broken down yesterday. Yesterday, I was totally, totally broken down. Like, broken, broken, broken down yesterday. So, I was, like, laid around. I had breakfast at, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, this matches my, this matches my pants. Oh, you worked on Halloween? Damn. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm going to a seven o'clock show too. Um, seven o'clock Thor. I do play Call of Duty. It's on my. I, I see where it um, downloaded already. Like the preload is up there already. 
Oh, on Sunday, last day of New York Comic Con, you and your friends ran into Ben Affleck at Planet Hollywood. What the hell was Ben Affleck doing at Planet Hollywood? Why was he at Planet Hollywood? <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. That's the last place I would want to be is Planet Hollywood if I were Ben Affleck. I don't want to go to Planet Hollywood now, but that's definitely the last place I would go as, as Ben Affleck. Here. Oh, it's out here in four hours. Yeah, so Thor, I'm going to go, I'm going catching the 7 o'clock Thor tonight. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm just celebrating. I'm celebrating. I've Halloween is my favorite um, holiday, as you know. Um, a lot of you saw my cosplays that I had. Hey, Mr. Vane. Um, a lot of you saw the cosplays, costumes that I did. And um, then my birthday is on Sunday. My birthday is Sunday. Oh, hello, that Justice League panel they had. Oh, it was that Planet Hollywood? Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, Call of Duty World War Two is already preloaded. I see it's already preloaded on my machine. So, hey, uh, from Spain, um, Fuenla. What do I think of Kevin Spacey? Oh, I guess to get some food. Oh, okay. Um, what do I think of Kevin Spacey? Um. Hmm. Kevin Spacey, oh, you had to replace your VR? What? No, you didn't tell me that. You had to tell me what happened. Oh, okay, okay, got you, Dracona. Oh, your father's a Scorpio. Yes, my birthday's on Sunday. I, I think I might even stream. It depends. It depends. Um, it depends. As far as Kevin Spacey, it is a tough one. Like, I think that Kevin Spacey is a, is a great actor. Um, he's someone who's been in Hollywood for a really long time. As far as him coming out as being gay, I don't think that that's like a huge surprise to anybody. And there's really no reason why he couldn't have come out, like, at any point in time. I don't like that he um, brought that up after it came out that he was coming on to a 14-year-old boy. Like, coming on to any child is unacceptable, period. And it's not the same thing. Being gay is not being a pedophile. So, you know, so I, I personally have a problem with that. Thank you, Cortez. So I have, I, um, you in the hospital gown looking like naked Santa. I can't. I can't. Right, that's what I'm saying. Everyone knew he was gay. So it's not that big of a deal that he's gay. But for him to try and come out saying that he's gay after these allegations, basically admitting that he did what he did, you know, like tried to get all up on a 14-year-old boy, that's unacceptable. Like, that's a child. I don't care, male or female. Like, a 14-year-old is a child. And, um... You know, and what he did was wrong. And so to try and be like, oh, you know, by the way, I'm gay. Like, that's not what being gay is. And that's, that's wrong. That's wrong. You know, that's really, that's really crazy. And I guess at the time that this happened, I imagine what he was like around, I guess maybe like 30, I guess, when it happened. And the kid was 14. There's some crazy shit in the entertainment business in general. And overall, like, I think that people in, in the entertainment industry, like, things like sexual harassment and stuff, a lot of that stuff, people get away with a lot, is what I'm trying to say. People, people get away with a lot um, in the entertainment in, industry because it doesn't have the same thing. You know, it doesn't, you don't, it's not really the same rules. The same rules don't apply in the entertainment industry as they do like at your office job, you know, like I've dealt with sexual harassment my whole career and it's just been like a kind of thing that's, um, you know, that's, it's a lot more acceptable. You know, lines are blurred in the entertainment industry where they're not, you know, like it, they're, it, they're very hard lines in like regular jobs. They're very hard lines, like lines you can't cross. Um, 
Hey Nella, it has been said that sexual abuser is always abused. I mean, and I, I think that's, I think that may be part of it too. It may be, I don't know. I Like, I don't know his history, but, um, you know, you have to take responsibility for yourself as an adult. And all of you know how I have gone off and how I always go off about R. Kelly, because I think that R. Kelly is a sexual deviant and a sexual predator. Um, you know, I'm just saying children are off limits. Like, you do whatever you want to do in your in your life but with children that's never acceptable kevin used coming out as misdirection towards the molestation exactly and that that's what i don't like that's what i don't like because you're you're confusing things you're confusing things and when someone is is gay that's not the same you can be gay all day long that doesn't mean that you're trying to get with a little boy like that's not the same thing it's not the same thing and using that as a misdirection is unacceptable because, you know, every gay man isn't going after um, children. So, um, so it's it's really messed up what he did. And I definitely look at him look at him differently for many reasons, you know. And there are plenty of people. There are plenty of people who are gay, and we know they're gay, and they are still able to play you know, very straight roles. There are plenty of people that, who do that. Hey, Tristan. You know, so it's it's a lot more acceptable, but pedophilia is never acceptable. Going after a child is never acceptable. Well, I think they they're, they would have planned on any, ending House of Cards anyway. Um, but yeah, there's no excuse for assaulting a 14-year-old. And the fact that he was even, that it was even kind of like he was using it as an excuse of some sort, like maybe because he was like living in the closet or I don't I don't know. I don't know why he why he did it, but he but he he shouldn't have he shouldn't have th those are two separate conversations. Two separate conversations. You know. But what the fuck Kevin Spacey was my homie in K Pax. I mean, he was my he's he's my homie on everything. I think that he's a I think that he's a brilliant actor. Like 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 watching him act, watching his craft, like I think he's a brilliant actor, but it's just crazy that, you know, that 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 happened, you know. Gay is gay, whatever, but leave the kids out of it. Yeah. Right, exactly. Exactly. And, you know, and a lot of people know that they're gay by the time they're 14, but still, you're under the age of consent. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have a grown-ass anybody coming on to you at the age of 14. That's unacceptable. Uh, liquid underscore Lola, Dragon Ball. So, what if you're in love with your toaster? That's a totally different thing, Synthetic Playmate. That's a, that's a totally different um, uh, fetish, I think. <laughs> But it's unfortunate, though. It's unfortunate because it mars it mars a very long um, career. It mars a very long career, and you know, it's 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 messed up. It's really messed up. It's, I feel the same way about Bill Cosby. You know, like <clears throat> like I can't I can't look at him the same anymore. I don't look at him the same at all anymore. And it, and it ruins, like, you know, the Cosby show. I've had this conversation with people. <clears throat> I've had this conversation with people, and it, and it ruins, it ruins a, a perfectly good legacy. You know, it ruins a perfectly good legacy. And when I look at the Cosby show or even think about the Cosby show, I grew up with the Cosby show. That was one of the shows I grew up with. And, um, you know, yeah. Oh, damn, your cat chewed on your VR cable? No! That's crazy. But why wait to come out? Hey, Liam. 33 years old. You saw a gay 10-year-old boy. I mean, there are plenty of people who know exactly who they are at a very young age. I have, I have plenty of friends of mine who, like, you know, always knew they were gay. They always knew they were gay. Um, you know... That's fine. It doesn't matter. If you know you're gay at 10, that's great that you know who you are at 10. If you know you're gay at 14, that's great. That 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 doesn't matter though. 
that doesn't matter when it comes to having an adult hit on you. That's not cool. Hey, Justin. Hey, DJ Sundial. Hey, Liam. <laughs> you know, so it's, you know, so it's just, it's just, it's just gross. It's gross. Whenever you are going to target a child for any reason, it's gross and it's never acceptable. I don't care. You know, a lot of kids these days are very, um, I would call them like fast. You know what I mean? Like they're like fast. They're fast kids or whatever. Um, but they're still not old enough to consent to anything. They're still not old enough to know like the consequences of their behavior. So it's up to adults to protect them. If you were gay, you would be a lesbian. Okay. Yeah, you know, so it's like, you know, it's just, it's just really, it's really unfortunate. And, um, I don't know about a guy being in a relationship with his car. Like, that's something else. Like, <laughs> that's something else. Wait, Vaughn says, so the car was male? What? When you're 27 hitting on a 14 year old. Right. I mean, you know, when kids like they like to act like they're grown up and especially I think kids in the entertainment industry, they do seem a lot older than they actually are. They do seem older than they are. Um, but they're still children. Like you always have to remember that they're still children. And regardless of how old, you know, older than the years they they act, it's, um, you know, they're still old children. Justin, you're by. I know bi people too. I know bi people as well. You know, I, my my feelings on um, on sexuality and gender and stuff. I think that things are a lot more fluid than um, than a lot of people would like to believe or think or whatever. But um, but yeah, I'm just like, you know, people have to be themselves and they have to, it has to be safe for them to be themselves. And it's not safe for you to be yourself if you're a 14 year old boy and old ass Kevin Spacey is trying to get with you. That's, that's just gross. That's just gross, you know, and, and, you know, there are plenty of consenting adults you can get with without dealing with children. So, so yeah, so I, I, I totally look at Kevin Spacey differently now and it's, it's messed up. It's messed up. So, um, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> you bisexual things with my lady. <laughs> I like that, Eddie. That was pretty good <laughs> for you. 30 plus you don't, you don't dip below 30 elope. You don't, you don't dip below 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't this is my this is my shirt from Mr. B. I told y'all I was gonna wear it my first day back from not doing a costume. So I'm really excited that I got to rock my Mr. B uh, storm shirt. And this this shirt is really cool actually. Um, I've never seen this design before, and I really like this um, this storm image. Wait, how old is what guy? How old is what guy? Well, that's, I mean, well, that's, to me, any 54-year-old, anyone, male or female, grabbing a child is a pedophile, you know? That's it. Hey, ready to hit hot fire. And my day has been good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, Dracona. That's harsh. That's harsh. But I do have, I, I have zero tolerance when it comes to kids. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. I did, Synthetic Playmate. I did look you up on YouTube. I, I subscribed to you already. Um, yeah, I have, I, I have zero tolerance when it comes to pedophiles and people messing with children. Zero tolerance. <laughs> DJ Sundown. I'm okay with gay people. That's two more women for me. <laughs> That's funny. It's good to see you, Sathias. I mean, and to have you, Sathias and Golden Threat in here at the same time. Like, I've been missing you guys. Like, they work the graveyard shift. Um, Sathias works nights, so I never, ever get to catch him because he's always sleeping when I'm playing. I mean, when I'm, when I'm on. What's up, Vince? Yeah, back to OG Lola. 
back to it, back to it. Watch the great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm missing some stuff, missing some stuff. Golden Thread is right there. There he is. There he is. There he is. <clears throat> Does anyone watch clown porn? <laughs> oh, wait, Mr. B, you're going to be selling hoodies? Are you seriously going to be selling hoodies soon? I'm assuming you both like to like women, Dracona. Gonna be suffering. No. Ah, yo, no problem, no problem, synthetic playmate. I said, I said, I, I looked at your your channel and you look like a magician, or something. You look like a magician. Do I do I have a website? Do I personally have a website, or does Mr. B have a website? I'm not sure. I'm missing. I'm missing some comments here. Hey, wig splitter, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You know what? I will. I need to get back to. Um, I I need to get back to game streaming. I haven't been doing any of that. I've been like preoccupied with costumes and stuff. But I'm gonna get back into that. You're plugged into the dim the distributor. What? Oh, Mr. B. Okay. Um, wait, you're plugged in, wait, you're plugged into the distributor, now no Amazon middleman. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You're going to be, like, selling like this or just hoodies, Mr. B? I'm curious. Well, let me know when you get it, when you get it up and running, Mr. B, and I will, um, shout you out for your hoodies. I enjoyed, I enjoyed a lot of the cosplay that I saw at Comic-Con. I see you're a comedian, but the picture, the picture that you have up, you look like a magician, like, you know. I saw part of the Last of Us Part 2 trailer. I don't know, I got weird about it. I got weird about it when I saw it because I, I, I was kind of like, I wanted to, like, I don't know, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch the Last of Us Part 2 trailer. I just... Like, I've been on this no trailer kick, like, where I don't want to see trailers because I don't want to be spoiled on anything. Um, but I am going to go back and watch it. I did watch some of it, though. Um, I got to play Prey. Prey. I feel like I played the demo for Prey. Uh, yeah, I still live in New York, Justin. I definitely still live in New York. Not going anywhere else. Not going anywhere. I still live in New York. Before you saw me, Lola, the sun was just a yellow grape. What does that mean, Trail Star? If we think that most LGB have tried to be hetero, I'm in Brooklyn, Justin. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Oh wow, that's hardcore, Dracona. How many heteros have done the same? I mean, yeah, that's true. That's very true now. Light a fire in your heart. Aww. Yeah, I, I like to see gameplay. Like, I, I do like to see uh, gameplay. Yeah, I did try and play Prey before. I tried to play Prey, and I was like, what is this? What is happening? I didn't enjoy it, so, yeah. Remind me where you are again, Justin. Where are you? Where are you located? I can't remember. If you've never been to New York, I would I would recommend to everyone, like if you've never been to New York, you should definitely come to New York it, 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 at least once in your life. There's no place, I've done a lot of traveling, there's no place in the whole world like it. No place in the world like it. Oh, you're in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Then yeah, you should totally, you should totally, um, you should totally visit New York for sure. When you play the games, you drive like the transporter. <laughs> why does LGB have to try to be hetero, and why not other ways? I mean, it's just a matter of society. It's just a matter of society. You don't have to. You know, you don't have to try to be, but I, you know, I think that there's always a conflict there, like an inner conflict with people, you know, um, 
Like everyone's not sure of themselves. So I don't know that it's insane. I, I think that it's just, um, uh, there are certain, you know, things that are accepted in society more easily and, and, um, you know, but I have, I have friends who have never tried to be straight ever. <clears throat> Until dawn, rush of blood is free this month. Okay, I will have to uh, check it out. Um, what's up, Ty and Babe? What's up? What's up, Ty and Babe? They're also they're also in New York. You saw Wicked and like the Hard Rock Cafe in some place called Goth World in the hotel. Really? Um, wait, you just got out. Wait, hold on. I'm missing some comments. Black Panther cross dressed as Smurfette. I can't, Dracona. I cannot. I cannot. Mr. B is coming to New York and piss on Wall Street. <laughs> oh, Corona Queens. Okay. All right. All right. Cali is cool. Cali is cool, but it's not New York. Cali is fun, but it's not. It's not cool. It's not. It's not as. It's not New York. It's not New York at all. Um. Oh, it's VR. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Sathias. Thank you for that tip. It would give certain perspective to full heteros. You might be right, Nella. You may be right. You may be right. Um, you're going to ask if there are any comic stores. There are lots of comic stores. Like, one of the biggest ones is Midtown Comics on 40... Like 41st, I think, 40th, 40th and 7th app. You like my shirt. You like my shirt. You have to ask Mr. B where he got it from. Yeah, people do grab the, the bull by the balls. Bull by the balls. Favorite comic book stores. I do like Midtown Comics. That's in Midtown. Um, Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet is like my favorite just because that's the one that I go to um, the most. It's like the most convenient for me. So, um, so yeah. So I would I would say um, Forbidden Planet is the thing. What's up? Do they have Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments? I don't know. Probably. Probably. Vaya Soriano, aka the naughty New Yorker. 363 days till Halloween. I don't even want to think about Halloween anymore. I can't even think, I'm still trying to recover from Halloween. I'm still trying to recover from Halloween. I can't even think about Halloween anymore. I can't. I can't. Halloween went way too hard for me. I was hurt yesterday. <laughs> I was hurt yesterday. Battle Chasers and Crimson. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I can't even think about it. My voice is still messed up from Halloween. From all that, from yelling and laughing and drinking. I'm still messed up. Oh yeah, they don't have space for that there. They don't have space for that in those places. I'm sure there are some places. Like there's, um, there's this place like down on St. Mark's that they do like card games. I do see them doing like card games in there, but I think it's more like World of Warcraft, but they probably do Pokemon. I just don't know the name of it. Um, what's up? Nobody hurt me. Nobody hurt me. I'm good. I'm good. Ready to hit hot fire. I just was, uh, I just went out. I went out on Halloween and I partied too much. That's all. I partied too much. That's all. <laughs> Just out and about, was um, out in the village. Went down to the village and just like bar hopped a bunch of different places. Bar hopped and hung out and um, I missed the parade. I was too late leaving the house. You're taking decorations down, it's so sad. I took down my, I, I only did like a little decorations here. Um, I had uh, just some spider webs up that I, that I took down. Um, but yeah, it was just like bar hopping and, and being silly out in the streets. <laughs> That's all. I needed a nurse. Yeah, like it was, yeah, it was, it was a lot of water. 
a lot of water. A lot of water happened yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of well, water happened yesterday, so. And then tomorrow, I'm having a party for my birthday. So, um, so that's happening. Gonna, and, um, yeah, so. No harm in a little partying. My favorite adult drink is vodka and club soda. Vodka club soda is my is my favorite drink. That's my go-to drink, is a vodka soda. Absolutely, Tanya Bay. Absolutely. Can people find out where you're located on PSN? I don't I don't know about that, um, Tupac. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Ready to hit hot fire? Yeah, my birthday's Sunday. My birthday's Sunday. And. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm partying tomorrow for my birthday. I work on Saturday, and then Sunday I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I might have a stream party. <laughs> I might stream on Sunday. Might stream, might stream on Sunday. Drunk Lola would be a sight to see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Drunk Lola gets a little wild sometimes. So, I don't know. She's not ready for the masses. She's not ready for everybody. <laughs> She's not ready for public consumption. Satheus. Yes, Satheus, my vodka brother. Yes, they can find you on PSN. Thank you, Satheus. Yes, yes. I'm, you know, it's Scorpio season. Scorpio season. I'm I'm full full in uh, into Scorpio season. Oh, your birthday was October 30th. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Stream turn up. I might. I've never done that. I've never done that, actually. So maybe I, <laughs> maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I, We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel. Hey, Bat Tom. <laughs> Drunk hillbilly. Stream for your fans. Mm. It's your birthday on the 4th. Happy birthday. I'll have to give you some birthday songs before I leave. Scorpio love. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, normally I'm pretty, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm happy to have another birthday, you know. Like, the alternative to not having a birthday is, like, you're not here anymore. So, you know, so I'm not mad at birthdays, but, um. Your birthday is in two weeks. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, thank you, Satheus. Thank you. Cheers. I'm drinking water today. Still drinking water. Hey, Steven. I should, I should send, I should, I need to sing, uh, sing you a birthday song. You bashing you people on the head on the 17th. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpio party. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Capricorns. Capricorns. Do I do I know one Capricorn? I don't know. I guess I you're a Capricorn, I guess. I don't know any Capricorns, I don't think. We should play a game. You know, there's this game um that I don't, you know what? I might, I might. There's this game that I want to, that I want to play and stream. Um, I just have to figure out how it works, so I need to work on that. I'll look at it and see maybe if I can get that going by Sunday. Yeah, I've done some game, some gameplay streams before, um, but yeah. Scorpios do rule the world. They do. Thank you for the purple, the blue hearts, golden threat. GT, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. May 5th, Taurus Love, Rasta Leo. I know some Leos. I know some Leos. Some of the clo closest, the closest people to me, the closest people to me um, are Leos. Closest people to me are Leos. Yeah. Which is interesting. It's really interesting, like, you know, everything is always like, you know, like, Scorpios and Leo should, like, never get together, they should never, you know, like, mix or whatever, and, um, yeah, but, um, 1990, 
when you're with young Angela Bassett. I'll take that. I'll take that tie-in, babe. I've gotten that before, actually. I've gotten the um, the Angela Bassett thing before. I can see that Mr. B is a Scorpio. You are a Scorpio, and I am equal, so I don't rule anyone. <laughs> Bashing heads. <laughs> Fashion heads. Oh my gosh. Oh, my voice is messed up. I have to get I have to get this voice together by by Saturday because I have to work. I have not tried to raid in Destiny, Sadie is. I have not. I have not tried to raid in Destiny. I you know, I tried to I try to raid I tried the raids in the first Destiny. I never finished them. And just the level of frustration. The level of frustration I will do it. I will do it. If if we can get a good crew together, I'll 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 do it. I'll do it with you guys if you want to do it. I'm just telling you, it makes me rage quit. So, um, yes, we have. I definitely have a stinger, Justin. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, it didn't sound weird at all. It didn't sound weird at all. Damn, Dracona, that's messed up. <laughs> I know, I know. I know what I'm supposed to do, ready to hit that fire. I just I I just did way too much. Way too much. You saw my nerdy cameo, not gonna lie, I felt some kind of way. I like that plug at the end though. Yeah, so for so um so for y'all who don't know, I did a little cameo on I was only on there for like a few minutes. Um the nerdy effect asked me to come on onto his stream uh, yesterday so I dragged myself up and uh, and and did a little cameo for the nerdy effect yesterday um, for Stephen uh, what's it what Timothy Timothy for Timothy all right I'll let you know okay synthetic playmate see you later nice and thank you for coming in um, Keep away from that toaster. I'll let you know, Dracona. I mean, I'm down. I'm down to do a raid. I'm down to do a raid. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and Synthetic Playmate, I love magic. I love magic. So if you do magic on your on your stream, I'll come and see you. Because I love magic tricks. Love magic tricks. Ooh, I want a Synthetic Playmate. I can't. Can you put that Wonder Woman suit back on? <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, that's an every once in a while thing. That's an every once in a while thing. No, no, Nerdy Effect is not in New York. I Skyped in. I Skyped into Nerdy Effect's uh, stream. Uh, the Nerdy New Yorker. My dog is like coughing up a lung. Um, the Nerdy New Yorker is Vios Soriano. This is the one. Um, this is the one in New York. I call him the naughty New Yorker because he's naughty. He just said he needs a synthetic playmate. So, um, uh, nerdy effect. I'm not. I'm not sure where he is either. Yeah, the raids do take too long. That's what I'm saying. Like I rage quit on on raids. Like I don't know. I I need to like. I need to like get my mind right and have like a cocktail or something. East London guy. Okay. All right, I, I will I will do one with you, Satheus. We just can never get our schedules um, connected, ever. We never get our schedules connected. My Halloween was great, East London guy. My Halloween was great. I was I was just saying, you know, I streamed. I streamed and then I went out and was I got home like four or something in the morning. So I had a good Halloween. <laughs> Uh, synthetic playmate. It does sound fun. It does sound fun. No explanation or obligation. I can't. I can't. You are right, though. You are right. Like, they have these, um... No, 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 no. It's no. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Say this. It's perfectly fine. You know, you know you can do whatever you want here. No, no apologies. Come on. No, no, no. Um, they have these... Okay. So they have these, um, they do have these like uh, sex dolls like in Japan. They have these sex dolls and I don't know, like they've like upgraded these like, um, like Android kind of, kind of thing. 
they've upgraded these things and um, you can like actually get one and I think it's it's different than just like a blow up doll kind of situation it's like actual um, like Android kind of thing <laughs> exactly they're like robots they're robots they're sex robots they have these sex robots I don't know like have any of you ever seen that show humans it's a show humans it's kind of like um, it's like similar to like Westworld humans and it's this whole thing where they're these synthetic they're, they're robots they're robots and um, you know and, and they're like service robots so they have like sex ones they have ones that are just like workers um, I'm sure that in 2017 you can have even living swingers sex robots <laughs> yes Mr. B yes Japan is cutting edge they are cutting edge with their technology they are very cutting edge to their technology and they are um, like the, the the thing that I do like about Japan one thing that I I, I like a lot about Japan actually um, uh, yes GT's movie was epic let me just I'm gonna come back to the sex uh, sex industry in Japan but I do want to give uh, Golden Threat a shout out for real um, please make sure to click on his name click the subscribe go and watch his last uh, movie it's not just his last uh, floss episode it's like 10 minutes long 10 15 minutes long it's like a movie it's really good a lot of people made cameos in it um, please make sure to check it out hit those likes he's doing really really good work sex robots like a fleshlight with legs yeah it's like a whole hey afternoon acoustic yeah it's like a whole it's like a whole um, like a whole robot a whole robot um, that's what they do with technology that's one of the things they do with technology I mean you know a lot of our technology comes out of Japan they're on the cutting edge of everything so why wouldn't they be on the cutting edge of that as well and um, and the sex industry is like a, a huge huge thing there yes you have to go see it seriously you have to go see it no no nope, don't even pay attention to him just hit those hit that hit that button um, uh, I've been typing all my life. <laughs> I'm at sex for sex robots. <laughs> like when I, I I was in Japan for um, four months. Like I lived there for four months. I did a show there, and um, I well, I mean, okay. So I did go to like their red light district. I went to their red light district. I didn't go in. It was more like a sightseeing kind of situation. But I did go to. Uh, their um, red light district. Hey, Ray Ray, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, Lolly, Lolly, stop. Um, really? Congratulations, Dracona. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so I, I went to their red light district, and it's, you know, that was an interesting. Um, experience like seeing that um, Japan or New York which is better you know it's very it's it's very different it's very different like I love New York um, but I really loved Tokyo I loved Tokyo I had a great time I did not make love to a Barbie I didn't I didn't but I did <laughs> it does not <laughs> no it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't this was before sex robots this was many many years ago this was many many years ago um, this is before um, before sex robots I never saw anything like that I never saw anything like that um, I did ride a giant penis it's this sounds wrong this sounds wrong okay so this is just gone this is gone just gone adult so um, if anyone is, <laughs> is in here it's gotta it's been a while welcome back welcome back so they had this um you know like those um you know like those horses that you ride like as a kid like you put the money in the machine and you know you just ride the horse or whatever as a kid like they had those those kind of things but they had one that was like a penis it was a penis right and so you can <laughs> 
Because <laughs> it was like, it was like this big. It was like this big. And you get on it like it's a horse. Like it's a horse. You don't like, you know, it's not like that. It's like, you know, you get on it like it's a horse. It was a ride. It was a ride. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, afternoon acoustic. Oh my gosh. No, it, this sounds really wrong. I'll have to see if I can, I'll have to see if I can find the picture or something. Um, but yeah, it's, it was, a, it, it was a giant penis, but it was like, it, it was like a horse. It was like a, oh my God, this is, it was like a penis horse. Like, no, no. Oh my God. Yes. In Japan, in Japan. And it was like a little, you know, it was like a novelty. It was a novelty. It was like, it was cute. It was cute. It was like, it wasn't like riding a bull. It was like, um, you know, like the horses, like they used to have outside the grocery store, like where you put the money in, in the little thing. It's, you know, and it's, it's like a horse, but it was a penis. I'm making this sound really worse than it is. Now I'm like, I spent money to ride a giant penis, but it's really, oh my gosh. Hey, Tra <laughs> hey, Traborn, I don't even know what I'm saying. Kind of a rodeo robot. Exactly. It was that kind of thing. Right. That's what it was. It had handlebars. Yes. It had, um, no, it didn't have handlebars. You just kind of held on to it like this. It was like you, you hold on to this. It's, it's, oh my God. This is the worst. This is the worst. But they had this, this was at their sex museum. That's where this was. So, you know, like we went to the sex museum and at the sex museum, like you go in and <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, Dracona. I'm going to stop talking about giant penises. I'm not going to say giant penis one more time. Um, but it was at the sex museum. And so they had all this stuff. <laughs> they had all this stuff there. It's like, <laughs> I have not been riding dick outside grocery stores. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. No, but it's, it's, this is part of their culture though. This is part of their culture. <laughs> This is part of their culture, which is really fascinating and very, very interesting. It's very interesting. Um, you know, like I, I've talked about this a little bit on on stream before. They had like a life size uh, Marilyn Monroe. I did still have my pants on. They had a life size Marilyn Monroe over the subway grate, but then like her skirt would blow up and like she had no panties on. Like that's the kind of stuff they had in this um, sex museum. So it was like all this kind of novelty um, kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, because it moved, it moved and the tip glowed red. Um. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow, I'm never going to Japan if that's, the, that's in the culture. Um, right. As the naughty New Yorker is like on, on his computer right now, booking, a, booking a trip, booking a trip to, to, uh, to Japan. It is, they are, it is very, it is very freaky. And like in the, in the red light district, when you walk through, when you walk, <laughs> when you walk through the red light district, um, they have like signs they have signs up and you see like women like dressed in like different costumes and stuff. And so, um, you know, you can go in, you know, you can go in and like choose like the nurse or whatever. And you just go in and, you know, handle your business and come out or whatever. Um, exactly. Exactly. The difference is, and I will say this, the difference is, and this is why I respect Japanese culture is because it was a Rudolph penis. Yes. Um, hey, Hard Rooney, I'm good. What I really respect about Japanese culture is that they're not undercover with their stuff. You know what I mean? Like, they're very secure in what it is that they like, you know, and they make no apologies for it. And so that's why I, that's why I enjoy it. That's why I like it, because it's, um, you know, they're very upfront about it. They're not hiding it. I think once you start hiding things, once you start hiding stuff, that's when things get twisted and that's when things are wrong and that's when things are, um, you know, when you act like things are wrong, then it, there's a stigma there that, that shouldn't be a stigma. Europe is the same way. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, there's a stigma there and you don't want to have 
this this is how people like Kevin Spacey get in trouble because they've um, deprived themselves of things and now you know <laughs> there probably is there probably is actually you know we can't find right partners but that's what I'm saying like you know people should be able to be open like once you're you don't make an apology that you're a freak you don't hide that you're a freak or you know being a freak really isn't really being a freak being a freak is being you know living in your truth then I think that that's fine like if you like certain things you know no need to be a prude exactly no need to be a prude at all no need to be a prude um, you know, but, but people are judged, people are judged and they're judged too harshly for what, what it is they like. Like, I'm sure there are people who have like sex dungeons in their basement and they go to church every Sunday. Mm, just saying, you know, like, Hey real, what's up? Let the freak flag fly. Exactly. You know, like, I mean, come on, come on. You know, it's like once once you once people start like so so that's all I'm saying. So that's why I do appreciate Japanese culture because they don't make apologies for it. Like it's you know, they don't make apologies for it. They don't they don't have to hide it. The American woman No <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks. But do you feel that that has to do with upbringings? Not everyone can be that comfortable here due to training. Yeah, I mean, that's that's true. I agree with you on that, Bios, for sure. Hey, Gregory. What? <laughs> you know, as you know, you know, I'm called Liquid Lola for a reason. Um, I go with the flow like water and apparently I flowed into giant penises that can be ridden and uh, sex robots. Um, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Hey Darren. Oh, hold on. My dog has to go out. Give me one second. Give me one second guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna freshen my drink. I'm gonna freshen my drink. Hey, Edson. It happens. All right, hold on one second. <laughs> Penis with the handlebars. Oh my god. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. My dog wanted to come in, and she's like, you, you took too long. Um, wait, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I missed some comments. Hold on. Let me see what y'all got. Damn them pants, though. <laughs> oh, the Dracona. Oh, my God. with any topic you feel as if Kevin Spacey is kind of old just to be coming out 
I mean, wait, my watchers are going to take advantage of what info? Um, <laughs> what would you like to hear after my, my voice is kind of messed up though today afternoon acoustic is Sathias gone good night Sathias good night good night thank you for coming in it's good to see you um uh, my Halloween was great my Halloween was great you're back did you okay hold on let me shut my door let me close my door hold on <laughs> As far as Kevin Spacey goes, I, I, I don't think that, you know, I think you can come out at whatever age. Like, I don't, you know, I don't think that the age, like his age of coming out, I, I don't, that's not what I have a problem with. I don't have a problem with that. Um, oh, you're still here. Oh, okay. You said cheers. You just meant cheers as in you're drinking. Oh, I'm drinking water though. So I can't, I, I'll cheers you, but I'm drinking water. Um... I personally don't have a problem like you know people can come out whatever age they want um, I, I have a problem with the pedophilia that's what I have a that's what I have a problem with so um, I'm not I can't mess with Kevin Spacey right now I mean I'm sure he was hiding it I mean you know he played certain roles like he plays certain roles me personally, I think that if you're a good actor, you're a good actor and you can play whatever roles. There are plenty of um, uh, gay men who play straight roles and it's fine, you know, so I don't have, um, I would definitely ride that, Dracona. <laughs> no one cares, no one cares that Kevin Spacey is gay. That's the thing. No one cares. No one cares that Kevin Spacey is gay. My problem with Kevin Spacey is that Justin D, what's up? Um, my problem with Kevin Spacey is that he came out as being gay after he basically apologized for um, getting up on, on some 14-year-old boy back in the 80s. It, that, that's what came out. So, hey, young. Um, hey, Fatality. So, you know, so it's like there was some 14-year-old, you know, kid or whatever. I think they worked together. Kevin Spacey was like 30 or something at the time. And it just came out that this, um, that this incident happened. He put moves on a 14-year-old. Exactly. That's the issue. No one cares that he's gay. Like, I don't, no one cares. No one cares that Kevin Spacey is gay, but the fact that he came out like after this whole pedophile thing, um, that's the problem. That's that's the thing that's like that's being gay is not being a pedophile. So so that's what most people had a problem, you know, with. It's the whole pedophile thing. It's not it's not him being gay. Like no one cares. He can be gay. Like he's still a good actor. You can be gay and be a good actor. You can't be a pedophile and be a good actor, you know? Ah, oh, okay. All right, GC. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Y'all make sure to check out um, Golden Threat's movie, for real. Seriously. That's a, that's a, that's, I'm very serious about that. Please go check out his um, thing. Yeah, he was trying to excuse it. That is nothing to excuse. That, you can't excuse that. There's nothing to be excused, you know? Um, Justin asked me, did I have any souvenirs from Halloween? <laughs> My souvenir from Halloween was a hangover. <laughs> My souvenir from Halloween was a hangover. And that was my souvenir, sadly. Aw, thank you, GT. Aw. Yeah, the old guy that played Magneto, um, Ian, uh, Ian, uh, Ian, Mc, Ian McClellan or something his name is, I think. Uh, Matt Bomer, who I think is, like, friggin' hot. 
Matt Bomer, who used to be in uh, White Collar, and then he was in the Magic Mike movies. Like, he's gay, he has a husband and everything, and they always tap him to play, um, you know, he always plays straight roles. That's pretty much all he plays, and everybody knows he's gay. So that's an excuse. You can't, that's not, that's not an excuse you can use, Kevin Spacey. You're still, a, a, you're, you're still someone who tried to get up, get on top of a 14-year-old boy. Like, that's not acceptable, ever. Hey, Rockman Rock. You chilled on Halloween. Ian McClellan, that's it. Gandalf, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Golden does have boss live streaming. He does. He does. So, yeah. You know, but I mean, there are plenty of, you know, that's just, that's, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have done that. He really shouldn't have done that. So I, I wish he hadn't done that. Um, can I sing, say a little prayer? Um, sure. It's going to be low though, because my voice is like really tired. Um, bye. Good night, Golden Thread. Have fun uh, babysitting. <clears throat> um, the moment I wake up. Before I put on my makeup, I say a little prayer for you. That's all I got. My voice is really hoarse. I did too much. I did way too much on Halloween. I'm still, I'm still not quite recovered. I did way too much on Halloween, so I'm sorry. I'll, I'll sing for you again, but it's, it's, it won't be today. <laughs> ah, okay, Satheus. Good night, sweet dreams, and all that. Okay, Dracona. All right, Dracona, see you later. See you later. Thanks for uh, hanging out. And I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better. See you later. Um, Dracona's a fellow streamer. He might be streaming later as well. There are quite a few streamers in here today. Vio Soriano. I don't know if he's still in here. Uh, the Nerdy New Yorker. Uh, make sure to check him out as well. Mr. Baltimore, streaming games. Lola out in the streets being a banshee. <laughs> I was out in the streets. I really was out in the streets. I was yelling and drinking and doing shots and jello shots. I don't do jello shots, y'all. I don't do jello shots. I don't do jello shots. But I did. I shouldn't have done it. You liked his acting but can't support that kind of attitude. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't I can't support it either. And really and I and I do love his acting. That's the thing, I do love his acting. Um, sounded great, whispery tones. Yeah, it's it's hoarse. It's hoarse. It's hoarse. Um, I streamed. I streamed on uh, on Halloween. I was Wonder Woman, uh, Scotto. I'll show you guys. I, if you didn't see it, if you missed it, um, I know I was having a great time. I did have a great time. I always try to have a great time. You know, it's um. Life is too short to to uh, to not live it to the fullest if it's at all possible, you know. I know I have a birthday. My birthday is on Sunday. My birthday is Sunday, so I think I might be. Um, I don't know. It depends on how I. It depends on how I feel. I have a busy rest of my week. Tonight I'm gonna to go see Thor. I'm gonna go see Thor tonight. Um, and you just sneezed. You ran out of data, ready to hit out fire. So so tomorrow I'm having a party, so I won't be streaming then. But I'm having a party. Saturday I work, but Sunday is my actual birthday. So since I'm like partying all these days leading up. To my birthday, maybe I will do a birthday stream on Sunday. I might do a birthday stream. I might hang out with y'all on Sunday. I might. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I might hang out with y'all on Sunday. Maybe. I'll post it on my Instagram or um, in my Twitter if I'm gonna stream. But if you're if you're if you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on, you'll know if I'm streaming or not. So. Um, Okay, Dracona, have a good night. Have a good night. 
I know I should I should do like a party stream on Sunday maybe I will maybe I will y'all y'all might be convincing me y'all might be convincing me to do it you might be convincing me to do it because that's my actual birthday and I'm celebrating tomorrow so yeah oh thank you Scott O <laughs> no trill star no when a girl says might or maybe it means no 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 it just means I don't know how the rest of my week is gonna go I don't know how the rest of my week is gonna go so you know and uh, so I'm going out tonight partying tomorrow work Saturday night so we'll see. Well, it's finally 21. <laughs> I wish. I wish. You can add, add add some years to that number. Hey, Savage Boy. Zay. What's going on? I'm good. It's your birthday on Sunday. That's my birthday. My birthday's on Sunday. On the 5th. <laughs> Thanks, Afternoon Acoustic. <laughs> ah. You guys are funny. Oh, but I was going to show you. Oh, good night. I was going to show you my Halloween, my Halloween costume. This was me on Halloween. This was my Halloween stream. You like my voice like this? My, my voice is like so messed up right now. But it's sultry. I got like a sexy rasp, I guess. I don't know. This was me on Halloween on stream. I stood up most of the time because... <laughs> Because I had to, like, I had to stand up um, because of the costume. Oh, this was me with my cape on. Oh, we share a birthday, Phil. That's my birthday, too. So this was me on Halloween. I did my, um, my what I did for New York Comic Con. Um, I did it on stream. I wore the costume on stream for Halloween. I'd never worn it on stream before. So... So yeah, so that happened. So you can, you can, uh, yeah, y'all did keep asking me to stand up. And it was better for my belt also. It was better for my belt. Justin D got me to lose the cape. So then I, then I took the cape off and I just had my, me and my lasso of truth. And, uh, yeah, so it was, it was fun. It was a fun stream. Like people who hung out with me on, on Halloween. Thank you for that. Yeah, with me getting my, my lasso back together. Put my lasso back on. I'm number three. I have, I, there's one person I know, um, like we share the same birthday. There's one person like I know in, in real life. He's a fellow musician and, um, and every once in a while we'll like end up at the same like club or same bar or whatever and um, we'll celebrate together. You know what? Okay, so I did see, I saw one Negan. I saw one Negan. I missed the whole parade. I missed the whole parade. I was late leaving here. It took me forever to link up with my friends. Like, I didn't get out into the city until like 1130. So I missed the parade. I saw a lot of people walking around, though. I saw like a predator. I saw, um, uh, I don't know. I, I saw lots of costumes. Storm. Um. <laughs> if I had a lasso of truth, who would I use it on? I was saying that in my stream. I wouldn't use a lasso of truth. I wouldn't I don't think I would use a lasso of truth. I don't I don't want to know. I don't want to know. There are certain things that Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anybody um Oh, okay, Trill Star Dog. Maybe see you on Sunday, maybe, if you're around. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I would use a lasso of truth on anyone. Because for me, if if somebody's going to tell me the truth, I would hope they would tell me the truth first off. And if I have to force the truth out of you, then you're not worth it to me. You know what I mean? Like, you're not worth it to me. If I have to force the truth out of you, if I have to compel you to tell me the truth, then you're not, you're not, you're not worth it to me. Um, see you when you're old. Okay, Trill Star Dog. See you later. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah. I, 
already have Call of Duty World War II, Master Garcia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, it's already preloaded on my machine. It's already preloaded. So yes, I definitely, I definitely, um, I have Call of Duty World War II. Um, I will be playing that this week. I'm, I, you know, I'm not really that great on um, Call of Duty online. I am in really interested in the war mode, though, so I will be playing that online for sure. The deathmatch stuff, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Fair enough. You always chose Dare. I did always choose Dare. I do always choose Dare. Because for me, like, if, if I don't want you to know something, like, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. So I'd rather do dare and just do it, you know? So yes, I did always choose dare. Justin. <laughs> Justin, are you going to be around on Sunday? Like, if I, I never stream on Sunday, so if I decided to do a stream on Sunday, would you guys come to my stream on Sunday? If I decided to stream, I'm still not sure if I am or not, but if I did, would you come? AZ Dugati, huh, Ninja Stars. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying that I that it means no. I'm not saying it means no. I'm not saying it means no. I'm just saying it would be fun to do it. It would be fun to do a stream on Sunday. And I don't think that anybody's going to, you know, I don't know. You would come to wish me a happy one on my birthday. Okay. Well, we will see. We will see. You surely wouldn't mind. I'll see what you did there. i see what you did there, Justin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, we'll see. Whoever I don't see. Uh, I used to stream on Sunday. Like, I used to stream on Sunday all the time. But with my work schedule... Um, such as it is like it was just too much it was too much for me to stream on Sunday but you know what as long as nobody surprises me with anything which I don't think they will I don't think they will because I'm gonna see everybody tomorrow um, so as long as there's no no like surprise on Sunday I think I might do a stream I think I'll decide I'll decide I'll decide before I leave today if I'm gonna do a uh, stream or not I should be in church on Sunday I mean I don't really go to church so um, if I went to church on Sunday that would be a departure from my normal uh, normal life do what I want to do because it's my day I know but it would be fun to have like a party stream and I didn't do it today because I'm not in a partying mode today. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Faux account. Hey, faux account. What's up? Um, I will stream on Sunday. I'm saying it now. I will stream on Sunday. I will stream on Sunday. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a birthday stream, I'm going to have balloons, I'm going to have leftover birthday cake. Okay, I'll do it. I will do it. I will do it. I just don't know what time. Like, people have, people have lives. You know, people are doing stuff on Sunday. And it would be cool to see, like, the European people, so maybe I can do it a little earlier in the day. Maybe I'll do it, like, around four or something like that for eastern time maybe what do you think <laughs> can i have um cake i'll give all y'all some cake on sunday i'll give y'all some cake on sunday <laughs> actually that would be fun 
That'll be fun. So I'm gonna do it. I'm saying it right now. I'm saying it right now. I'm letting you know. I'm gonna stream on Sunday. I'm gonna stream on Sunday. I'll put something up on my Instagram, which is right here, um, and my Twitter. I'll put something up on there, letting you guys know um, like what time. Cause I'm I'm still not sure like what time I'm gonna do it. But I will I will post it on my Instagram, on my Twitter, um, on my Snapchat. I'll even put it on Snapchat and uh, let you guys know um, when, what time it's going to be. But I'm thinking like around 4 o'clock. I can probably swing around 4 o'clock. The cake is a lie. <laughs> I don't know. Might not be a lie. Might not be a lie. Might get some cake. Might get, be, get some cake on Sunday. Some buns. <laughs> Any more Succubus stream thoughts? Yes. Yes. Um, I am definitely going to be incorporating uh, Dark Lola into the mix. I will incorporate Dark Lola into the mix. Um, I, I'll have to figure out how to, how to squeeze her into the schedule. Squeeze Dark Lola into the schedule. <laughs> But yeah, I'll do, I will, I will do that again. I will do, uh, I will do a, another, um, I will do some dark, a Dark Lola stream on the regular. I will try and do that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't realize that it was going to be such a hit. I mean, granted, you know, I had on small clothes and, and wings and my fangs in and all that but um but yeah I will do a dark Lola stream I will let you guys know when she's coming back maybe I can do it like once a once a month or something once once a month maybe maybe we'll see we'll see but I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna bring it back I will bring that that back dark Lola Cinemax Lola. <laughs> Lola After Dark. Yeah, I'll do some Lola After Dark streams. You did miss some good streams. There's, they're archived, Scotto. They're archived. They're in my, um, they're on my, uh, on my page. This is, I will show you since you missed her. Hold on. Oh, okay, Cortez. Hey, King Leonidas. Succubus secretary. Hmm. I don't know. This was my, this was my succubus. This was part of my uh, Halloween extravaganza that I did. You can't even see it. This was the, I went, I went without blue. And I don't know why. Oh, there you go. And I have fangs. I have my fangs in and I was completely red. I'm completely red. And I was biting people. I was biting people. So that's my that was my that's my succubus. Um, so I will do like some sort of lo dark Lola. It may not always be a succubus, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I have my wings and all that stuff. So for my for my uh, that was one of my costumes for stream. But it was fun though, so I, um, yes, no blue and wicked. I was a little wicked. I was a little wicked. Um, day. I was a little wicked. Justin wants garter belts. I gave you fishnets though. You got, you got fishnets. You got fishnets. <laughs> Y'all are trying to get me banned. This is YouTube after all. This is YouTube. But I might. I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something with a Dark Lola situation, for sure. Because it's fun. It's fun. And that's part of me, too. So um, so it's cool that you guys got to see that. So, so she will be returning. She will be making a return. She will be making a return. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm going to get off of here because I have to eat some food and then I have to go to the movies. I'm gonna go see Thor at seven. 
and it's quarter after five now so I'm running out of time I'm running out of time so um, hopefully I will see you guys on Sunday there is a dark side in all of us absolutely absolutely there's a dark side in all of us there definitely is oh yeah the eyes yeah I was freaking people out with the eyes so yeah she'll be back she will be back she'll be back so um so yeah so but you know as long as you're following me like on my social media and stuff you'll know when all of that stuff is happening um Sunday I'll see you guys on Sunday American Made that seems like a weird movie to me it seems like a weird movie okay you take care too take care um Jay Fizzle yeah, so I'm going to go see Thor tonight. I will let y'all know how it is. No spoilers, but I will let you know how it is. I'm really excited, though. Really excited. I'm excited to see Hulk. Um, hey, Tony. I'm getting ready to leave. But yeah, I have to get some food in me before I head out. So um, thanks for hanging out, guys, and uh, going with the flow with me. Hope to see you on Sunday. It's my birthday. So it would be great if you guys could come back and hang out with me on Sunday. Give me a happy birthday um, wishes on Sunday. Would be cool. So, um, so hopefully I'll see you guys then. All right. Bye. Oh, oops. Hold on. I'm still here. I'm still here. One second. Okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> I think I'm doing four o'clock. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and do four o'clock. I'm gonna try and do four o'clock. So, um, but I will post it. I'll post it on my um, Instagram and my Twitter. So make sure you follow me. All right. Bye.